Hi, and welcome to One Step, taking one step at a time to learn and grow in the love of God and experience the joy of a changed life. We occasionally exclaim, I feel empty inside on our bad days. No, I'm not referring to the physical sensation of hunger. Instead, I'm referring to something more difficult to define, a loss of meaning or purpose, persistent emptiness, emotion of emotional numbness or despair. What motivates you and gives you a sense of purpose? Is it your relationships, career, family, or hobbies? How should we handle these symptoms? By getting involved in activities that may be more emotionally gratifying, such as volunteering, picking up a hobby, getting a pet, growing or sustaining a spiritual practice. We might try to overcome emotional emptiness and give life new meaning. There is not a problem. What should we do though if the world looks bleak and hopeless? and we rely on other people to give us happiness and fulfillment. They will disappoint you, so that doesn't always work out. While Jesus was seated by a well in Samaria, he encountered a woman who was looking for fulfillment in vain. She had been married five times, and it's possible that after each failed marriage, she felt even more unloved. During their conversation, Jesus brought out her sin by revealing that she was now living with someone who was not her husband. He wasn't being unkind, but rather assisting her in seeing the need for a savior. Every previous attempt to fill her life had been useless. And now Jesus gave the only solution that genuinely fulfills, himself. He offered to provide her with living water, which is so utterly satisfying that anyone who drinks it will never experience thirst again. Do you ever feel like the Samaritan woman, dissatisfied with your existence and longing for love? meaning or fulfillment. I detest feeling empty. Emptiness makes me feel hopeless, fatigued and alone. However, there is still hope for those who are feeling empty on the inside. The Bible teaches us that we can be made whole again. God can fill us with His love and purpose and give us a sense of fullness and peace. Colossians 2 verses 9 to 10 says, For in Christ all the fullness of the deity lives in bodily form, and you have been given fullness in Christ, who is the head over every power and authority. Take a deep breath and close your eyes. Think about what might be causing you to feel empty. Then imagine yourself being filled with the love and fullness of Christ. Visualize His presence filling every part of you, leaving no room for emptiness or lack. Remember that God has the power to fill us with His love and purpose, and to give us a sense of fullness and peace. Reach out to Him in prayer and trust in His love and care for you. You are never truly empty, for you are filled with the fullness of Christ. Don't forget to follow us at our Facebook page and YouTube channel for more programs and contents, and visit our website at hopetv.asia. Remember, just take one step at a time and experience the joy of a changed life. See you again and stay blessed.